facing seven felonies for helping animals starving in factory farms. I want to be a teacher and have a family someday. I don't want to go to prison for the rest of my life. But there are terrible things happening to animals, like my bunny Jonah. So when I've been called to action, how could I refuse? I joined a team of activists in walking onto a fur farm in the dead of night. Right as we approached the barn, a car pulled up. Someone beamed a flashlight right at us and we dropped to the ground. I thought, this is it. We're not getting inside now. But after a while, he went into another building. And we were already so close. So we kept going. Inside, we found rotting corpses and terrified babies rattling their tiny metal cages. One little girl calmed down immediately in our arms. She had no reason to trust humans, but she trusted us. And I just couldn't let her go. So I kept her in my arms when we left and carried her through the night, knowing we could be caught at any moment if that worker just turned on a light or if this baby got scared and jumped out of my arms. But she stayed calm at every fence we crossed and all the way home. And now Mabel is part of my family and she's Jonah's best friend. The global fur trade is a $40 billion industry that could send me to prison for saving Mabel. But if they do, I know hundreds of people will rise up. More people will pick up cameras, more stories will be told, and a single story like Mabel's has the power to change the world. It's already happening. Am I risking a lot? Yes. But is it worth the risk? Absolutely.